Space flight, what a dream. To fly out of the atmosphere. Newton and myself now will explain how it works. For this purpose, we need a planet and we choose the most beautiful in the universe, which is, of course, our precious Earth, Gaia. And then this Earth is curved. This is known for a long time. And for a long time also, we know that there is a very small atmosphere around, around the planet, small and fragile. And to fly in space, we need to get out of this atmosphere. And Newton dreamt about a mountain that we'll call Newton's mountain, which climbs out of the atmosphere. And then, as he discovered with the moon, what is orbital flight around the Earth? He dreamt to do the same thing, what an astronaut makes, to fly over the atmosphere like this. For this purpose, we need to climb and to get velocity. To climb, to get out of the atmosphere and to get velocity V, to give the good energy to make the rotation. And when you are no longer on the Earth, you are in a non-Galilean referential. You know that Galileo was in Pisa. You know this pretty town where there is a famous tower. And on this referential, he was on Earth, on the cow's floor. But here we are no longer. We are somewhere where everything moves. And with this, we have two forces, in fact. The first one in the non-Galilean referential is the Galilean force, which is called gravity. And the centrifuge force, which is mv2 on r. And what is funny is that both force compensate each other because we are in free flight, free fall around the Earth. You know, it's exactly the same than a free fall from the mountain, but it is a horizontal and circular free fall. And to compute the value of the velocity, it's very, very simple. We have to express that these two forces are equal. And the equation is very simple. G is simply V2 and R, which gives V is square G R. So G is known with a good precision approximately 10 meters per square second. You know that it is not really on ground, but the altitude is about 100 kilometers. So it's very, very close to the ground. So it's very close to 10. Well, maybe it's 9.8 or 9.7, but never mind. And the radius is known by Cheops himself in the pyramid. It's about 6. Well, that's the real value will approximate to something like this. When we compute this, the computation is very simple to do. It gives that the magnitude of V, the amplitude of V, is simply 8,000 meters per second, which is 8 kilometers per second. That's the tax to pay to go to space. And that's the reason why it's difficult to go to space. It's not to climb the mountain. Even if 100 kilometers seems high, the energy, maybe, is not so important than the kinetic energy that we need. And that's the secret of spaceflight, the velocity.